Hello, crafty friends. Welcome. Well, it's that time of year to create some fall themed cards. And I have a new die set and stamp set from Spellbinders to do just that. This is a very well thought out and adorable set. And it's from the Happy Harvest collection. This one in particular is called Welcome Fall. And there are so many cute dies in this. You get a little apple barrel and some apple dies. You get some pumpkins and a cute placard, as well as some leaves. And you even get the cutouts, uh, the die to cut out the stems for the pumpkins, as well as the apples, as well as a branch die. So I had so much fun with this set. And it's designed by Nicole Spore. There's also a stamp set of sentiments available. This one's called Fall Greetings. This stamp set has some really fun fall time sentiments included in it. You even get a pumpkin that says Happy Fall. There's one that says Love Fall Most of All, Hello Fall, Happy Harvest, Let's Get Cozy, Hey There Pumpkin. Just all of them are so fun. So these are the two sets I'm going to be working with in today's video. So let's start out with card number one. I'm going to use my plaid company embossing folder. I think plaid and fall go hand in hand. I embossed a piece of barely peach cardstock. That's one of my favorite cardstocks from Spellbinders new line of heavyweight cardstocks. I also use some Spellbinders circle dies to cut out this little circle as a wreath builder. It helps me to have a circle cut out uh, to follow along so that I don't get my wreath crooked. <laughs> I cut out a bunch of the branches from the die set in different colors of brown. The darkest brown is called timber. I'm putting little dabs of glue behind it. I'm not putting glue on every single branch and twig. And then it curves around this circle just perfectly. I also cut out the branches with portobello and oatmeal cookie. Oatmeal cookie is the lightest of the crafts. And I'm just going to completely fill up this circle wreath with these branches. And I'm layering them so they overlap a little bit. But look how cute this turns out. It's just the perfect fall time wreath. Here it is all done. Next, I'm going to stamp out my sentiment. So I'll pull out my mini Misty. I'm going to stamp it on this placard. So I'll put a little bit of dot liner on the back and pop it in the Misty. This will hold it in place while I stamp the sentiment on it. It was hard to choose which sentiment to use. They just all look so cute on this sign. I end up using the sentiment that says, love fall most of all. So I will pull that one out. And if you've watched my fall time videos in the past, you'll know that fall is not <laughs> my favorite season, but I sure do love creating fall themed cards. There's just something about the apples and the pumpkins and the colors, it's, it's just fun. <laughs> I'm inking it up with some VersaFine Claire ink. This one is called Fallen Leaves, and it's just a beautiful, rich, dark brown. I use this a lot for fall-themed cards. I end up stamping it up a few times. Now I can just pull off this little sign. I'm being careful not to smear the ink because it does take this VersaFine Claire ink a little longer to dry. Now let's glue this onto the post. And there's even a little hole for a nail. And there's a die that cuts out the nails. And I cut it out with brushed silver cardstock. And I'll just place that at the top. That teeny die just adds such a cute touch. So here's the placard all ready to go. I'm going to use a lot of vintage photo to distress these die cuts. And this just adds a lot of charm. So here it is, all ready to go. Next, for the barrel, I'm using a piece of oatmeal cookie cardstock. And I'll distress that as well. And then I cut out the piece that holds the barrel together with the timber, the dark brown cardstock. And I'll glue that on next. There's so much you can do with this cute barrel die cut. So I'll put little dabs of glue down. 
This second layer that holds the barrel together even has a slit at the top where you can put your apples and your pumpkins. Let's put that on top. Isn't that adorable? So next, let's put some of the pumpkins together. I cut them out with different colors of orange cardstock and even with the barely peach cardstock again. I'm just using a little dab of glue to put the green tops on these pumpkins. And then I'll distress them, just one side of them. There are two different pumpkin images, so let's do a small one next. With this set, you can make up some really fast cards. There's no coloring involved unless you want to cut them out with white cardstock and color them in with Copics or colored pencils or even distress inks. Let's distress the side of this pumpkin as well. Now look at how cute the pumpkin looks with the barely peach cardstock. All of the card stocks that I'm using to create these cards is from Spellbinders. It's their new line of cardstock essentials. They're all just a really nice heavyweight cardstock. And I, I've been kind of obsessed with them. I use them on almost every video. So let's pop up our wreath with some foam strips. I'm just going to put one layer down. And it's best to take off the release paper so that you can manipulate it into a circle. Then I can just snip off the end. I'll put this right kind of at the top of the cardstock. And now for the apples, let's put some of the leaves and twigs on these apples. I'll show you how easy it is. That's such a cute effect. There's even a little piece of the apple that you can pop out. But in this case, I kept the little highlight piece in and then just added some white gel pen over it. Now we can add some of these apples inside this barrel. I'm going to put a pumpkin in first. And then the rest are going to be all apples. All of my apples are red for this card. But for my next card, I do add some green apples to it, and they look so cute. I'm using little dabs of glue to bunch these apples together. I want to add a little bit of height, so I'll add some of the apples up higher in the barrel. I just want it to look like a barrel just full of apples. And then you can see through the little barrel, so I'm going to use the same piece of red cardstock. And the red is called Poppy Field, and it's such a bright, pretty red. But I'm going to use some of the red cardstock and glue it behind the barrel so that it looks like it's filled with apples. I'll add a little more glue on the back of this. And then the piece of red cardstock doesn't fit perfectly, but I'll glue it in place. And then I can just use my scissors to snip off the overhang. And I'm kind of going in between the red cardstock and the bar barrel, just so you don't see any of the red on the outside of the barrel. There's one more little piece to clip off. And then this is ready to go. Isn't that adorable? I'm also going to pop this up with some foam adhesive. So let's put that at the side. Next, I'll layer on some of the pumpkins and I'll pop them up as well. Just going to add a trio of pumpkins here in the front. I'm using glue where they overlap just to keep them tightly in place. And then another dark orange pumpkin behind these two. And this one is just going down flat. So here's my placard. I'm going to glue it onto the frame with some liquid glue. And I do have a piece of foam adhesive behind this as well. So it will be the same height as the barrel. This is where I pulled out my white jelly roll pen. I'm adding lots of highlights to the apples. This just adds a cute touch to the card too. I'm even adding highlights to the pumpkin and the placard, and even the barrel. 
I decided I wanted to add a bow at the bottom. I'm using some Spellbinders Banana Cream Ribbon. I'm using a glue dot to keep this in place. I have a new product from Spellbinders, and I've never used this before. It's called Gold Silk. I'm trying to do some splatter across this panel, and I'm afraid I got too much on my sentiment. I don't splatter much, but I do love the effect, but I definitely need some practice. I put it in one of my old Spellbinders card boxes just so my flicks of paint wouldn't get everywhere. So let's attach this to a white card base. And the bow did keep falling off, so I put a little bit of liquid glue behind it as well. I also glued on a few of the leaves, and isn't that just the cutest wreath card? I had so much fun putting this one together. So this is my first fall-themed card of the year. Now on to the second one. <laughs> I'm going to use another embossing folder, and this is brand new to the shop. It's called Sweater Weather. I'll emboss this piece of Portobello craft cardstock in this folder. And then it just has a lovely sweater texture to it. This one is a lot of fun. I want to add some color to this panel, so I'm pulling in my vintage photo first. And I'm not covering the whole panel, but just the bottom corner and a little bit up the card. So I'll blend on some vintage photo. And it helps to bring out the texture of this panel as well. Next is Crackling Campfire. And I'll just blend those two together. And my third color is Ripe Persimmon. Aren't those beautiful fall colors? I'm going to do the same thing with the placard. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on it. I cut this out with Barely Peach cardstock this time. And this time I decide to use the Grateful For You stamp. And I just love how they fit on this uh, sign. So clever. There are other sets from Nicole Spohr, and I'll link to those below, but there's some really cute sets. One has a scarecrow, and one even has a wagon. So I stamped out my sentiment several times using the Fallen Leaves ink again. Now I can glue on the post, and I'll use one of those cute metal nails that I die cut. I'm putting this one on kind of askew. I want this sign to tilt a little bit so that I can tuck it in between these barrels. So there's the little nail. Again, I'm going to pop this up with some foam pieces as well as a little bit of glue on the post. The barrel full of the green apples I adhered down flat with some liquid glue, and then my second barrel is popped up again with more foam adhesive. This time I'm going to use this branch as an actual branch attached to a tree that you cannot see. It's coming off the side of the card. I cut these out using the timber cardstock, the barely peach, and the oatmeal cookie. Then once I have these in place, I can just snip off the overhang. I want to add a few leaves to the, these branches as well as an apple. But first, let's put some more pumpkins on this card. I'll put them in front of the barrels. I want the second one to be the same height as the yellow barrel. So I'll pop that up with some foam and tuck that behind the orange pumpkin. I really like the looks of that yellow barrel. It's so cute. And then the second one I cut out with the red cardstock. I'm just going to have the two pumpkins there this time. And now for the leaves. I don't want to overwhelm the branches, so I'm just going to put two leaves down. This red one I'm going to move so that I can put an apple there, and then the red one I'll put up higher. I think that just adds a cute touch of color up to the top corner. 
Next, I'm going to attach this panel to another piece of cardstock. And I cut out a panel of the Barely Peach cardstock. And I want that to mat this first panel. And I can just kind of wiggle it around until it's even on all four sides. And now for my white card base, and I'm just using dot liner to do this. Instead of doing the paint spatters, this time I'm using some gold gems. These are from Spellbinders as well. They're the essential gems. They come in many different colors now, but I still really love these gold ones. I'm just putting a few around this card. And here is my second card all done. I don't know which one I like better, but they were just so much fun to put together. I'll have all of the links to these products listed in the description box below, as well as over at my blog. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful crafty day. Take care. Bye.